Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Author, leadership, and team development speaker Joe Woodley here with another key moment for faith. Before we go any further, make sure you click on the subscribe button down at the bottom of the screen. Subscribe to this channel. Like this video, like other videos on this channel. Share them with your friends, your family, your neighbors, the guy down the street around the corner, and even your enemies. And they may just happen to become your friends. Also, take a look in the description box where you're certainly sure to find something to help you on this journey we call faith. Hey guys, I just want to talk to you really briefly about why fake it till you make it is not biblical. Why fake it till you make it is not biblical. Fake it till you make it is a phrase that I have heard almost my entire life since my childhood I can remember going to church and hearing preachers and pastors and elders and deacons and even bishops talk about faking it until you make it the whole principle and premise behind it is you're really not there yet you haven't reached your dream or your goal in life uh, you haven't seen a breakthrough in a particular area, but I'm just going to put on a facade. I'm going to dress myself up as if I'm already there. I'm going to present myself to the world as if I already have it all together, as if my life is a flawless bastion of success and wealth and glory and it just doesn't get any better than this. I'm gonna present myself or I'm gonna wrap myself in a package that insinuates to the world that I'm the person that you certainly would love to emulate because I've got it all together. I have no problems, I have no complaints. Life is good, right? Life is really, really, really good. Here's the problem with that. The Bible does not teach us as believers to fake it until we make it. As a matter of fact, the Bible teaches us that we are supposed to be transparent with one another. That's why scripture says that we are to carry each other's faults, carry the weight of one another's burdens, that we're supposed to support one another, that we're supposed to correct one another, that we're supposed to uh, encourage one another. We're supposed to do all of those things, but those things don't happen if you're just faking it to make it. Faking it to make it indicates that I have to put on a front that I cannot allow people to see the real me. I can't allow people to see that, hey, I'm struggling with some stuff. Whether it be financial, relational, or whatever it is. I'm struggling with some things spiritually. I'm struggling in different areas of my life and I need some prayers from the righteous men and women of God to help me to overcome whatever this particular issue or whatever this particular trial is that's going on in my life. Faking it till I make it means that I am not being transparent, I'm not being open, I'm not being real, I'm introducing you to my representative. And let me tell you this folks, I lived like that for quite some time in my life. You know, I painted it, and there's nothing wrong with going in with a smile. There's nothing wrong with dressing nice. I'm not saying go into church or present yourself to your friends and with sackcloth and ashes and, and, you know, ashes dusted all over your face and looking all crusty. I'm not saying that. You do need to take care of yourself. You should look good. You should look presentable. But let's not front like we got it all together, like there's nothing wrong in our lives. Let's not present ourselves as if uh, we have this perfect life and we're just living this amazing life and nothing is happening. We have to support one another. As believers, we are commanded to support one another, but no one can help you if you're not willing to be honest about what's going on in your life. No one can help you if you're putting on a front about the difficulties that are occurring in your life. No one can help you if you're constantly wearing a mask and people can't see what's going on behind the screen. It's like what happened in The Wizard of Oz when 
the uh, lion and the scarecrow and the tin man and Dorothy go to see the great and powerful Wizard of Oz and he looks great and powerful and mighty but behind the shades was a weak old feeble man who was unwilling and incapable of being transparent about who he was and who he was was this feeble man who was stuck in a rut he was stuck where he was he couldn't get back home he wanted to go home he was stuck there he needed a way to go home but he was not being transparent about it and so there he was for years and years and years stuck in Oz stuck in a place that he didn't want to be and so I'm tired of hearing that phrase fake it till you make it faking it till you make it is exhausting it's tiring it breaks you down it wears you out. It's okay to have difficulties in your life. You just don't want to stay there. But the only way you're not going to stay there is you need to surround yourself with people that you can be transparent with, you can be real with, you can be honest with. I'm not saying go out and tell everybody all your business. That is not wise. Everybody does not need to know what's going on in your life. But presenting yourself to the world as if you have it all together when you don't is not wise at all and is actually quite deceptive because what's going to happen is the enemy is going to pull your card and when it's time for you to perform when it's time for you to uh, show who you really are you're not going to have the goods because you've been faking it for so long that the goods don't match what you've been presenting and so it's important that the two are in alignment. The goods should align with what you're presenting. I remember a situation where uh, my son was talking to this gentleman in church. This is years ago. And this gentleman said, you know, boy, your dad really loves God. He loves praising God. He loves doing this. He loves doing that. He's like, man, is he the same person at home? And my son looked at him and said, he is the exact same person at home. My dad prays at home, my dad worships at home, my dad listens to worship music at home. Who he, who you see him as here is who he is at home. And that's important because I know what it's like not to be like that. Where you're going out and you're presenting yourself as if everything is glorious, as, as, as if everything is fantastic, as if everything is all right, as if you have this great life and everything is anything but that at home and God doesn't want us to be in that position God wants us to be transparent he wants us to be open not just with him but with one another so that we can get the correction that we need so that we can get the sharpening that we need so that we can get to exactly where it is that we claim we are because as I said the enemy is going to pull your card so if you present yourself as a certain way in public if you are faking it until you make it and the enemy pulls your card, you're gonna falter and you're gonna fail. And then you're going to be dismayed because you're not gonna understand, well, how do I get myself into the situation? Because you weren't being transparent, you weren't being open. So I'm gonna challenge you guys, stop faking it until you make it. That is not biblical. Be honest, be open, be transparent, even in your difficulties, most especially in your difficulties with your brothers and sisters and God will help you to get through and you won't have to fake it till you make it. You'll have a testimony about how you made it by the grace of God. I'm off the leadership and team development speaker, Joe Woodley. Thank you again for joining me, guys. I look forward to connecting with you here very, very soon. God bless you.